So I went to go see. Hmm, I went to go see the Single Moms Club. Worst movie thus far in Tyler Perry's arsenal. Hated it on so many levels. Like it just wasn't. I don't know. It wasn't funny. It wasn't um. It, 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 the storyline was bad, like on multiple levels, it was just really hard to take. Um, my eyes are really burning from seeing that movie. <laughs> um, at one point, there was a little girl in there who her little story was her mother didn't know how to take care of her because they had had a nanny or a maid or some sort all of the girl's life and she that that nanny who was hispanic in nature knew her way more um intimately and personally personally than her mother her actual mother did so they used to you know she used to converse with her in spanish and help her with her homework and work on her problem you know stuff that moms do and the mom just kind of just walked around she wasn't an alcoholic or anything but just wasn't present for her child. I don't get it. So the girl was like 10, 9 or 10 in the movie. And she walks up to her mom. Oh, okay, well, basically, her mom gets a divorce from her father. She loses the, the maid service. And so she's forced to be a parent. So the little girl goes into her mom's room and says, Mom, I need a tampon. What? <laughs> so her mom says, you need a what? I need a tampon. She's like, you got your period? And she's like, yeah. She's like, how long have you had your period? And she's like, two months. Let me tell you something. Woo! Let me tell you how unrealistic that is. Number one, you just got your period two months ago. You went from pad to tampon at 10? Really? First of all, how? let me tell you how I barely, I could barely talk to my mother. When I needed some pads once a month, I would be in tears going to ask my mother for something like that. And she would go to the store and get, I couldn't even get in the car with her. One day she's like, I want you to ride to the store with me. I was about 13 or 14 years old. And she was, we got to the store, we got to the Target. And she said, if you want some pads, you're going to have to go in there and get them yourself. I burst into tears again. I was like, you going to make me go get my own stuff? I couldn't grab the concept, honey. That was the, the most embarrassing thing once a month. Everybody knew what was going on with your life at that very present moment, and I was just too done. I was toast, baby. Put some butter on me and put me by some eggs. I was done. I could not believe that in this movie, this 10-year-old, if she was 10, 9 or 10, was asking for a tampon. A tampon? Er? Really? Every woman knows that's just not a real thing. Every woman remembers the first time she used a tampon, and it wasn't at 10. And it wasn't after two months of getting your period. You at least a year or so into your period before you even consider something like that. Baby! So that right there just didn't make any sense to me. Like, a man had to have written that. A man with no sense about what a period is for a little girl. <sighs> Over it. And then the other retarded thing that I thought was just like, what? You know Tyler Perry can't go no length of time without talking about somebody being a crackhead. I don't know what, what who, or which, or which one crackhead, which crackhead did what to him back in his youth, but baby, baby, that crackhead did a number on him. That crack, he owes that crackhead some money because he didn't read all his movies based around that one crackhead in various forms and stages of that crackhead's life. Honey, in this particular one, Nia Long is in this movie with her son, her real son, and he plays her son, and she doesn't deal with the fact that the boy's father is a crackhead. How he got like that, I don't know. But whatever, we don't address that part. But he became a crackhead. So a little boy wants a relationship with his father. Okay, get that. But he sneaks out of a sleepover 
to go into the city down in the dirt behind the corner in the back in the dark to meet his father for a son and crackhead meeting. And while he's down there in the streets, in the back, in the dirty, in the dark, his father mugs him. <laughs> that still is just like, what? His father mugs him, takes his game iPad and his gold chain, not your fat gold chain, not the hair on bone. Oh, God, takes his fat gold chain, all the money in his pocket, his iPod, his 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 iPad, all this sh- Tyler Perry. I just I can't with the crackhead. Can we just let's try alcoholism? Can we try alcoholism? Are there any alcoholics in the house? I just want to do anything other than a crackhead one time. Nonetheless, I digress. I thought that that movie was horrible. I. I, it, I'm just talking about the two major, major horrible parts for me. The whole movie was just kind of like, what? For me. For me. I didn't like it. That's for me. I go see Tyler Perry because I love my black entertainers and I support them as much as I can. But honey, mm, 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 mm. 